If something's wrong with us, or if something's wrong with a loved one, we need answers to three questions. What's the problem? Why did it happen? And how can we make it better? In the next couple of minutes, I'll answer the why question. Specifically, why are some dogs prone to cruciate ligament injuries? So I find it helps if we compare a ligament to something familiar, like a piece of rope. A normal ligament is like the best rope that money can buy. It should easily last a lifetime, even if it's used all day, every day. If you want examples of the best ligaments money can buy, look no further than wolves and greyhounds. Wolves are born to run. They can cover marathon distances day after day, week after week, month after month. If long distance running caused knee ligament injuries, wolves would be extinct and man's best friend wouldn't even exist. If wolves are built to endure, greyhounds are built to sprint. Their ligaments are so strong that a greyhound in full flight is more likely to break a bone than injure an ACL. So why do some dogs have robust knees while others' knees are fragile? You might not be surprised to learn that humans are responsible. Our ancestors spent hundreds of years selecting dogs based on desirable traits like loyalty. But artificial selection comes at a cost, and in this case the price is paid by dogs for the victims of gradual accumulation of harmful genes, including genes which code for fragile knee ligaments. So, back to our rope. If you bought a rope with a lifetime guarantee and it snapped a few years later, would you take the blame? Would you berate yourself for overusing your rope? Or would you think, quite correctly, I wonder if there was something wrong with that rope? And that's what we're dealing with in almost every dog with a knee ligament injury. A defective ligament prone to injury regardless of what you do to it. That's why nobody's proven joint supplements or exercise restriction reduce the risk of injury. It also explains why so many dogs who injure one ACL end up injuring both ACLs. The same genes code for the same weak ligaments in both knees. So, now you know what the problem is and why it happened, you'll need an answer to question three. How do we make it better? The ultimate question. And the answer is just over there.